Yo, what's up guys, it's Ice Grenade here, and today I've got a really cool one for you. I thought I'd just show you that I've got the custom shaders working. So, you see there, we've got a custom Death Machine HUD icon, and we've also got it for all of the other power-ups and new perk icons as well. And this is thanks to New Plan. So, stay tuned, and I'll show you guys how to implement this into your app. Alright. There's double points, there you go. Still like a insta kill as well. There you go, there's an insta kill there. Welcome to the tutorial. The first thing you're going to want to do is download the custom shaders archive. So click there and do save. So open up the file that you just downloaded and extract it somewhere so that you have the files there. And also open up your Black Ops 3 root. So then what you're going to want to do is drag these two folders across and open up the text file. Then copy everything from the text file and go to your launcher. Then go to the map which you want the custom shaders in. So I'm gonna to go to the hell testing and go to edit zone file. In here, you're gonna to wanna to paste what you had in the other file. You should have all of the perks here and the power ups. The next thing you wanna do is go to ape and go to where it says name and type in death machine. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you see the image here t7 hud zm power power up giant death machine this will have the normal image and you're going to want to do duplicate then do underscore bk and hit ok that will then give you this image here you can leave that for now you're going to want to go back to the one that doesn't have bk and go to the three dots here and go to your root texture assets custom and you should have a power ups one here and then select the death machine and press open now make sure you hit save all what you're going to want to do now is make sure that you compile link and run and build and there you go it's as simple as that now you've got custom shaders the reason i suggest backing up this one is because i tried overwriting it a different way however in the zone it's expecting this name and because it's available in ape already you have to overwrite the existing one and that might cause problems the one thing you should remember in future is if there are any updates you may find the death machine hud icon is overwritten so make sure you set a backup so there is one thing that may help prevent updates from overwriting the death machine and that is if you drag the one we've modified into the gdt that we've just created you can filter it via underscore giant underscore and that should show the death machine and the custom shaders and make sure you hit save all anyways that's it from me and thank you for watching and i hope this works out for you take care and stay tuned for more see ya